Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angeline Wanjeri. If you're new to this channel, hello. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so that you can get notified anytime I drop a video like I am about to do right here, right now, today for all of you guys. Welcome back to my kitchen. So of course, you know what time it is. I'm about to drop another bomb, a recipe for you guys, one that I know you're going to enjoy. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a triple Decca club sandwich. Very simple, very easy, very, very delish. You guys are definitely going to love this one. And for all of you guys who are saying, Ati, I thought I saw you with this t-shirt yesterday. Yes, straight from shooting a My Take episode, I came to the kitchen to shoot this recipe for you guys. So all shot on the same day. And if you haven't watched the My Take episode, please go and check it out. Um, very empowering, very enjoyable episode. So please go and watch it. But for now, let me show you how to make a triple Decca club sandwich. Let's take a look at the ingredients that I'm going to be using. So for this triple decker sandwich, I'm going to need ham and bacon, lettuce, caramelized onions, tomatoes, cheddar cheese, and green and red bell peppers. I'm also going to use salt and black pepper, mayonnaise, eggs, unsalted butter, and bread as you'll see in the video. First, I'll begin by melting butter in a pan, and then I will add in the three slices of bacon. Once the bacon is almost ready, I will add in two slices of ham. Once the bacon and ham is ready, I will remove from the pan and set aside. Next thing I'll be cooking is the eggs. I'll melt more butter in a pan and pour in two eggs. Here's a quick tip for you. Always cook your eggs after you cook the bacon. The eggs will absorb the flavor of the bacon and the taste will be amazing. I'll sprinkle some salt and once the eggs are cooked, I'll clean the pan, melt some butter and toast three slices of bread. With everything being ready, I can now begin layering the sandwich. I'll begin with a slice of toasted bread. I'll place it on the plate and apply some mayonnaise. And lettuce will be the first topping, followed by tomatoes. I will then sprinkle some salt and black pepper. And add a slice of ham. Followed by some slices of bacon. An egg slice. Caramelized onions. And cheddar cheese. I will then place another slice of bread with mayonnaise spread on both sides. A 
I will repeat the same order of toppings. Lettuce, tomatoes, salt and black pepper, a slice of ham, more bacon, cheddar cheese, egg, cheddar cheese, and caramelized onions. I will then cover this with a last slice of toasted bread with mayonnaise applied on one side. As you can see the sandwich is quite bulky so I'll flatten it gently with the palm of my hand and hold it together using toothpicks. As you can see it is well held together. I will then place this sandwich back in the pan which already has some melted butter. The aim of doing this is to melt the cheese and to heat up the sandwich. Cover and let it warm up on low heat. Once the bottom side is hot enough, turn the sandwich over, cover and let it heat up, still on low heat. Once ready, I'll transfer this back on the plate and you can slice it into half or quarters and serve with a salad or an accompaniment of your choice. And it is a wrap, guys. That is how you go about making a triple decker club sandwich. I'm telling you, I love this snack. You can have it for breakfast, you can have it for lunch as a snack, you can have it for dinner. I mean, there are no rules. Um, and also, in regards to fillings, you can play and experiment with whatever it is that you like. If you're vegetarian, you can skip out on the ham and the bacon and uh, put in other vegetables of your choice. Um, and also, in regards to spices, I opted just for black pepper and a bit of salt because um, the fillings that I used, remember I used bacon, I used ham, I used egg, I used cheese, I used caramelized onions. These fillings are already really, really flavorful. So I did not need to overpower it with um, a lot of spices. So I made it very, very simple. Um, when slicing this sandwich, you can slice it into half, which is what I did the first time round. But then I decided to slice into quarters again. Um, and you can serve them like this on a plate. You can serve with a salad or you can serve with some crisps or you can serve with some chips or again whatever it is that you want it tastes amazing it's really delicious and again very very simple to make so please try out this recipe at home and let me know how you stand out in the comment section thank you so so much for watching this video till the end if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe you subscribe to my youtube channel so that you get notified anytime <laughs> i drop a video and i guess i'll see you guys next time bye